I know I've talked about Telltale Games and their version of telling stories through video games plenty on this channel. However, when I talk about the relationship between storytelling and video games, there's always one more game I like to bring up. This game is a great example of how video games can be storytelling experiences within themselves, and that game is Oxenfree. Basically, the story sums up of five teenagers taking a boat out to an abandoned island to get into some high school-esque mischief for one evening of fun. However, once they get there, weird radio signals start appearing and people go missing and some of the friends start getting possessed and it just gives this really interesting kind of almost X-Files vibe to everything. The main character Alex, her stoner friend Ren, her new stepbrother Jonas, and classmates Clarissa and Nona all go on this weird tale of acceptance and forgiveness and kind of figuring out who they are, you know, all that typical high school stuff. However, it's not as dramatic as like, I don't know, Riverdale? Yeah, screw Riverdale, sorry, it's overrated. I don't, I don't care, fight me, fight me in the streets. I don't care, Riverdale's overrated. Eventually you start unraveling this conspiracy of nuclear subs and alternate dimensions. And I don't wanna get into it too much, but let me just say that the story is great. Now that being said, Oxenfree is a game where you get to kind of design your own way of making the story. You've got mean expressions you can say, you can say nice things, you have kind of neutral things, or you can stay silent altogether. So in that way, it is similar to Telltale Games. However, the order of the events that you choose also plays a major effect on how the story unfolds. You can choose to save one friend over another, you can choose to ignore a person's cry for help, or you can even abandon people altogether, making them fend for themselves. Oxenfree is a game that I thoroughly enjoyed playing. I will say this, however, the trophies can be incredibly annoying, especially when you have to do an entire run of the game completely silent. This kind of feels, I don't know, dumb? I, there's no other way for me to put this, dumb. Like, if you have a game that is based on storytelling, why make a trophy where the entire time the main character is just quiet? I don't know. Anyway, by the end of my Platinum Trophy adventure though, I thoroughly loved this game. I'm glad my good buddy Dylan encouraged me to get the rest of the trophies and really explore what this game was about. At the end of the day, I'm going to give Oxenfree a gold trophy rating. It has a weird and spooky vibe to it, really creepy soundtrack, it has a wonderful, almost graphic novel feel to it, and the storytelling is just top notch. I just wish the trophies matched everything else. Regardless, I think you guys are really going to enjoy this game, so I wholeheartedly recommend that you give it a try. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. Make sure you do all that cool YouTube stuff, subscribe and comment, and don't eat any weird mushrooms, guys, okay? Just don't. Or, or magic fudge, or anything like that, okay? And don't go to islands by yourself. Alright, until then, guys, stay safe, stay happy, and stay platinum.